Being a father so early kind of threw me into this sink or swim situation. Everything that I was involved in at that point was almost like playing catch up because I had this kid I wasn't ready for, I was a teenager. Storms sometimes do sneak up on you, lightning storms. You just have to deal with what you have right then and there. Right now, we have a lot of drifting into parenthood. Almost half of all pregnancies in the United States are unplanned, unintended. We know that it's better at the front end of a relationship to take things slowly in terms of both sort of sex and the emotional connection with someone. A lot of young adults are moving quickly into sex, cohabitation, and parenthood. They haven't really figured out if they're a good fit for one another. We didn't have enough to go on foundationally to protect us from what, what would lie ahead. We had our trying times. We moved to a different state. We tried different jobs. We went from job to job. I had to feed the family with no money. and You just have to scrape. Having to get food like donated to us was, was the bottom of my life, really. There was just certain things that couldn't deal with properly because I don't think the, the foundation was laid solidly enough. Childbearing is both incredibly important and incredibly difficult. Raising a child is a you know, 18, 20 year proposition. And most of those couples break up before the child is say five years old. Pretty soon you've got such a complicated family. We know that the relationships of unmarried parents are far more likely to break up. When parents' relationships fall apart, when parents go from one relationship to another, often adding more children, some related, some not, this can all be very hard on a child. Destructive and unstable relationships all take a toll on children. That's something people don't think about in the long term, of like the, the recurring problems that you have because of it. It could really affect your life in the worst of ways. Right now I'm starting over again, you know? I had a place that I could stay. For all intents and purposes, it was a trailer. I often think of like where I could have been had I not been struggling and I had that time to dedicate to my profession. Now you have different bills. Even though you have half custody or, or shared responsibility, whatever you want to call it legally, uh, there's still child support, there's still, um, financial consequences, you have two homes to support now, whereas before you had two incomes with one home. If you knew that there were a series of decisions in your control, that data shows that 97% of the people who follow those decisions avoided poverty. And the vast majority entered the middle class or beyond. Would you want to know that? What the data tells us is that young adults today who put marriage um, before the baby carriage are about 60% less likely to be poor. We find repeatedly that you finish school, you get a job and you work, and you wait until marriage to start a family. There just are certain behaviors or certain series of behaviors that lead to likely different outcomes. The biggest challenge really, not conforming to what people wanted me to be, not conforming to their values because mine doesn't match theirs, not falling under peer pressure because that's really big in middle school. I could have easily chosen to crumble to peer pressure and crumble to do those decisions or people thought of me, but I, I saw the results I was getting. I saw the long term. I didn't just look at the momentary position. I think the choices of having children too early is one that you're gonna have to play catch up with 
for the rest of your life. With the lifestyle we live now, sometimes we could be setting a future example for our children, whether it's good or bad. And I look at that and I don't want that for my children. I don't want them to fall under those temptations and, and not take their education seriously. I want to set a good example for my kids and so I choose to just stay away from that. If you understand the series of decisions and the probabilities associated with those decisions, that's the beginning point to help you think about your own life, to say, okay, I get it. I mean, this is the environment I'm in, but here's a pathway that others who are in the same situation, they chose and look what those outcomes are. Our schools need to do a better job of providing vocational education to students who are not on the college track. Government policy needs to make work pay for all Americans. Schools need to give young adults guidance on how best to form good relationships. These are the kinds of steps that we need to make the success sequence a viable path for all young adults.